Well, hello everybody. Buggy to 64 here again, and I can almost talk this morning. <sighs> I've only had one cup of coffee, so this could be rough. Anyway, what are we doing here today in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Well, we're going to take the MD-11, and we're going to fly it from Dallas-Fort Worth down to Mexico City. Okay. Now, we've tried this before. It was a disaster, but hopefully today's going to go a little bit better. One, we've got a lot better weather. It's clear just about all the way there. Might hit a scattered cloud here and there, but uh, the storms have left, and now we're going to be flying in clear weather. So with that, let's go ahead and get the MD-11 ready, and let's get going. And uh, we'll see you inside the cockpit. Okay, welcome to Dallas-Fort Worth, and uh, we're at Kate B is in Bravo 3-5, and we are going to be taking off today from runway 18 left. So, with that, let's start getting things ready here. that out of the way all right so next we would we're gonna go ahead and uh, get some power And make sure that fuel switches are turned off. Then we don't get a hot start. Okay, so now let's connect uh, our external power. You see the truck park pulling up. And you'd think this being a simulation that if you're going to have all this stuff for groundwork and, uh, you know, the catering, the luggage handling, external power vehicles, um, the push vehicles, that you would set up the simulation so they don't run into things. Because that power unit is already run into the tow vehicle. So, and it runs into the <coughs> luggage ramp. Okay, but let's go ahead and get some power. Turn on our batteries. <coughs> go ahead and align our navigation system. That was the fire test system check okay arm our emergency power get some outside lighting to let people know where we are and what we're doing turn off our taxi lights so that we don't blind the push vehicle drink some coffee all right let's double check our light plan which I pre-did Prior to starting the flight on Sim Brief. And my Navigraph charts.
Okay, flaps, because we're going to be very heavy, we're going to have the flaps at 20%. Okay. Whoops. I made a mistake. I hit the wrong button. It's supposed to be flaps. So we'll have to go back and change my V1. Okay. All right, so I think we got that fixed. So there's our flight plan. And we'll go ahead and dial in our lap settings for takeoff. Whoops. <laughs> A little too far, and we don't want too far. We want 20. Oh, sometimes it's... Come on. No, 20. There we go. And it's going to be a relatively short flight. Especially for this aircraft. This aircraft's got a range of 8,000 miles. So, And today's flight's only a little, little over 700. So uh, we're actually only going to fly at about 20,000 feet. All right, so let's go ahead and get the APU up and started. Takes a minute to get going. Okay, it's ready. I'll go ahead and flip it on. Cockpit to ground. This is ground. Stand by. Get ready for our pushback. are set. You may lift. Parking brake set. Lifting the aircraft. We are cleared for start and push. Okay. Cleared for push start. Please release parking brake.
parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engines in sequence. It will start in the sequence. Okay, so. We got our pushback started. We can go ahead and get some engines running. Sequence. All right, now we're ready to go. He's running, so start engine three. And while it spools up, once it gets to 20, we'll introduce fuel. And we'll let it spool up. Once it stabilizes, then we'll go ahead and start engine number one. So the sequence is three, one, and then two. Okay, back completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. Ground. You may disconnect. Okay, sir. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Holding position waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. And so he'll move back to his original starting position, basically, until he gets the call for the next aircraft. Alright. And finally we can start engine three. Okay, all three engines are running, so we can go on internal power. So, turn off the APU. All right, let's turn on the taxi light. Looks about ready to go. Let's call for clearance. DFW Ground United One Tree for Niner with Whiskey Request Taxi for takeoff departing straight out. United One Tree for Niner Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 18 left using Taxi Wake Off Whiskey Foxtrot. Contact tower on 126 decimal 55 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 18 left using Taxiway Hotel Yankee Yankee Hotel Whiskey Foxtrot cross runway tree 6 right Alpha 4 United 1 tree 4 Niner. <laughs> Okay, so we can move to the hold short and get ready to go.
Oh, after all those storms, this is an absolutely gorgeous sunny day to be flying down to Mexico City. And I want to welcome everybody aboard and thank you for flying United. Actually, you're flying Air America Duet, but I can't paint these aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator so it doesn't have my livery on it. So today we're using United. Okay, as we approach the hold short line, we'll go ahead and get everything ready for takeoff configuration. are set properly. I have to double check the center of gravity for the stabilizers. Get the proper trim so we can take off. Everything. The speed set for about two forty. Okay, so <clears throat> brake is released. No traffic coming in that I can see, so that's always a plus.
Okay, let's put the brakes back on and double check everything. We've got to get our trim set properly. Should be between about 5.4 and 5.6. There we go. Let's get that set up. Green is good. All right. Board looks green. Start applying brushed. Brakes released. Toga. Takes a lot. She's really heavy. Got almost 92,000 pounds of packages. Rotate. Positive rate. Yeah, gear up. Okay, landing gear is up. Everything's looking good. Okay. Flaps and slats are all stowed. So let's get to Mexico. Oops, I'm going to turn off the landing lights, and 
we are going to need to turn on the galley electrics, otherwise people won't have coffee. And we all know how bad that'll be. So let us be on our way. It's all looking good. Okay. She's climbing nicely. Looks like she's about ready to go. I would like to be able to get rid of that strip right there there every time I make a move to my other monitor to adjust something map or otherwise it pops up okay so now this is speed flight we can get to our approach and landing okay well we are now flying the x-plane 12 rotate MD 11 um, because I screwed up in Microsoft's MD-11. So I had to restart the flight, but uh, this seems to be working just fine. So now we're getting ready to approach and land at Mexico City. Here we come. Landing gear is down and locked and looking good. And apparently I'm a little bit low because it keeps telling me and warning me about terrain. But I'm hand flying this airplane right now. And there's the runway. We are very overweight, so this is going to be interesting. Whoops, whoops, uh, the nose wouldn't come up. We hit pretty hard. But, we landed it and it's safe. And for some reason it's yelling at me an autopilot warning, but I don't know why. I'll have to analyze that after we get parked and the flight is finished. Okay, so we need to get over here and start cleaning up the aircraft. The flaps. And all that stuff there. Uh, 
Alrighty, so... Get these stowed. For some reason, I can't turn off that autopilot alarm. I said, I'll, after the light, ugh, well, <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee either, apparently. But after we get parked, then uh, when the flight is completed, I will look and maybe see why I have this issue. Alright, so. Pull to the right here. Because that alarm really is annoying. And if I don't like it, I'm positive you all don't like it. But at least we completed the flight safely. It was a hard landing, and we were overweight. Well, okay, way down. Still, you know, got a lot to learn about this aircraft, but it is getting better. Uh, got to work on my my fuels. I tried to listen to uh, Sim Brief, and uh, they gave me wrong numbers. So I had too much weight when I landed which that got us penalized some, but the aircraft wasn't damaged. So that's good. We got our packages delivered. That's good. The passengers weren't real happy with the landing, but everything is done. The flight was successful. We got the bird down in one piece and everything went fairly well. Still got, I figured out what the problem was and why the uh, autopilot alarm kept going off it's because I forgot to push the two levers you pull when you turn off the autopilot I forgot to push them back up and uh, close the circuit so that's why we got stuck listening to that damn alarm you know autopilot autopilot yeah I got your autopilot anyway we got home down to Mexico City got a in there safe and that's all that really mattered so with that hope you enjoyed the flight i had a lot of fun flying the aircraft i can every time i fly it i learn new and different things about it that improve my knowledge and that's always important especially flying these big big wide body jets so until next time this is buggy 64 and as always Please remember, safe flying.